finally made it to Alto Kai Lodge. Um, I love it out here. Like the lawns are very green. Look at that. And I don't know if you can see farther beyond, but there are two hippos. No, those are actually buffaloes just casually chilling out there. You see that? One, two. And then you come this way. And this is the room I'm staying in. So let's go have a quick look inside. Never actually been here before. Um, this is the room. Very high ceiling, eh? And then you turn this way. You have like a workstation thingy, coffee station here. Bugs are there. Very small bags because we're here for just a few days. This is me. Travel chic. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the loose shower with a view. This is my room number, but this I find this door handle pretty cool. It's fashioned after like an elephant's task. Obviously not real. I think this is wood. Yeah. Morning. It's 5 a.m. right now and I'm all set to go on that hot air balloon. Um, usually they leave very early in the morning, so 4 or 5, it depends on what lodge you're going to be staying at. And the cost for this is 45,000 Kenya shillings, I think. So we're going to go on the balloon, we're going to drive to the site, go on the balloon and then have breakfast um, somewhere thereby, and then come back at around 10. That's what I was told anyway, so we'll see if it works out that way. Uh, I'm so excited, like this is one of the few things I haven't done yet, that's still on like my Kenyan bucket list. Um, I like just going up in the sky, like I've done the paragliding, no, not paragliding, parasailing in Zanzibar. I've done the skydiving in Diani, those guys shut down. Um, just lots of flights as well, so those have been cool, but I'm running late now. No, not running late, I have a few minutes to go, so I'm just gonna throw these things on. And let's go balloon. <laughs> So this is where we're signing the indemnity forms. Basically saying, <laughs> okay. So there's a little tea station out here. We're just grabbing some quick tea. There's coffee, tea, and hot chocolate. I'm doing a hot chocolate. I don't typically take hot beverages, but it's cold, and I'm feeling like it's gonna be cold on the balloon. I don't know. And I have some cookies as well. These are like ginger cookies. So just grabbing some like quick while everyone signs the forms. Indemnity form. I think that's what it's called now. Basically saying, yo, if I die, it's all on me. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I did a flyover with about 30 hot air balloons. For my passengers, be aware these fans rotate at very high speeds while they're running please do not go anywhere close yeah um, I'd like to introduce my team this is Daniel this is Daniel um, this is Daniel I'm Daniel <laughs> it's easy for the landing you'll take your seat hold on to the rope handles in front of you with both hands remember the bag is between your feet and mm. lean back against the padding with your head and shoulders. Mm. Now typically on a balloon landing we come down and we do a few hops. Mm. Remember there's another hop, another rendezvous with the ground, keep holding on. Mm.
tomorrow. <laughs> Let's see it for the Daniels. So it's really nice being out here. The landscape is insane. Like the views are so incredible. The accommodation and some of the accommodation, some of the properties around here. You kind of feel like you're a drone or a bit like a bird, just gliding along in the sky and checking out the surrounding landscape. And we've really seen a beautiful sunrise as well. I mean, look at this lighting right now. Look at this glow. <laughs> and oh Kilimanjaro you know that's such a draw that's such a draw for anyone coming to Amboseli now imagining imagine checking it out from the sky now Kili might be in Tanzania but dang we certainly get the best view of it out here in Kenya have you heard that story about how Kilimanjaro actually used to be part of Kenya and then I think Queen Elizabeth or Queen Victoria like gifted it to someone else like gifted it to Tanzania can you imagine just getting a whole mountain for your birthday <laughs> yeah so we're going low I hope we'll be able to see some wildlife from up here that will be epic that's it so the balloon takes about 12 the balloon takes about 12 people, there are 6 of us on board right now and I hear 6 is the minimum, it can take just to balance well so there are 3 of us on that side, 3 on the other end and then the pilot is in the middle but here we are that's the entire crew we're very close to the ground now The landing was very smooth, thankfully. I was a bit like um, anxious about that. The landing went very smooth, I'm happy about that. Because it said sometimes you pop three times and then you could maybe land on your side as well. Now I can breathe. <laughs> They're pulling in the back there. Only live. You only come to balloon once, yeah. <laughs> or maybe well, twice or thrice. Well, I don't know who yeah. you were. Um, yeah, just enjoying my uh, kababli uh, over uh, here, uh, waiting for breakfast to be served. There's a nice buffet selection going back there with like muesli and yogurts and fruits, and then there's like a hot breakfast as well. 
So the total cost for this is like 45,000. Was it 45 or 40? Yeah, the total cost is 45,000. So you get to go on the balloon safari. It's like 50 minutes. And then after that, you come and settle down to a breakfast, a champagne breakfast. I could get used to this. <laughs> this meal is a feast. Like the fruits are so fresh. These mangoes are nice, eh? And I've just got some juice as well. Mm. And they have muffins. I'm being told. I'm being told the muffins are really nice. So I want to try this. I think it's blueberry. Ready? Three, two, one. Woo! Ooh. Oh wow! This <laughs> one. Hey. Yeah. Wow. That's how you do it, Ne. <laughs> That's how you do it. Perfect. How much? So here's the actual breakfast: scrambled eggs, bacon, sausages, potatoes, mushrooms, and a. So it's our final morning at Altakai Lodge. Just checking out now. My bags are already packed. But listen, I remember yesterday, so I wasn't feeling well yesterday, yeah? So I was just lying in bed. And then I kept hearing this persistent knock on my door. And then I came and opened. And guess what I find outside here? A baboon. And it's just looking at me like, you know? <laughs> and I was so shocked, you know? Like just the initial shock because you're expecting to find somebody standing there and it's a baboon. So after just getting over the shock, I found it so funny because the baboons here, apparently, they've just learned to knock on the doors. <laughs> yeah, but I really love this place for the views. And then um, so there's a bit of a fence here in front of the, where the properties are. There's a bit of a fence, but further beyond, you keep seeing like a whole herd of buffaloes, sometimes a whole herd of elephants as well. So that's super cool. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a lot more videos coming up as well. So stay tuned for those. Just gonna pack up and head back to Nairobi now. Um, actually looking forward to it. But listen, if you'd like to work with me, my email address is in the description box. But it's windywater92 at gmail.com. Water is a double T. Also, that's just for email. That's just for, I mean, work. Or maybe collaboration inquiries. Yeah.